the amount of progress that I've been able to make in all areas of my life using this concept is just insane. The gym, I've made progress. Career, business, I've made progress. Relationships, personal life, I've made progress. Happiness, fulfillment in life, I've made progress. My health, I've made progress. Just from using this concept. Yeah, it sounds mad, but it's true. So I just finished a workout at the gym and I just thought I'd make this video right now. So I just um, quickly parked up at a field, yeah, to put on the camera. So about a year or so ago, I was watching one of Hamza's videos and he said this one sentence that resonated with me so much that I literally used this sentence, this concept in literally every single day of my life with everything. And what it was, was it was so simple. And I don't even think it was the main topic of his video. It was basically him saying, say for example, in the gym, if you don't feel like going to the gym, ask yourself, once I finish this gym workout, will I regret it? And I thought, well, let me go to the gym and see. So one day I didn't feel like going to the gym. I went to the gym, done my workout. After, how do I feel? I felt accomplished. I actually had a good workout. And today was one of them days as well. I really didn't feel like going to the gym. And it's Thursday, so I've worked out four days this week. And the other days I was fine. I felt like going. Today, I really, 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 really didn't feel like going. Didn't feel like getting out of bed, just felt crap entirely. You know, you get them days. I remembered this thing that Hamza said. So I went to the gym, done my workout. It was a push day today, finished the gym. And this was probably my best workout of the whole entire week. Literally better than all the other days where I, when I felt like going. Now, ah, this camera's heavy to hold. I'm not gonna lie. Like this, you, this YouTube shit, I'm not gonna lie, is, is difficult because like when people are walking, how do you hold the camera up? Because my arm right now, maybe it's just because I've I just done my shoulders at a gym. But <laughs> damn, <laughs> my shoulder is killing. Proper hurts. But anyway, back onto what I was saying. This concept I've used literally for anything. Even making these videos right now. One day I might be like, I don't really feel like making a video. So let me just make a video and see how I feel after. I make the video and it's not perfect. I upload it. I feel great. I've just done the thing that I wasn't going to do today because I didn't feel like it. And I think this is what differentiates the people that end up winning to the people that don't win. It is the people that turn up and show up and get what's, what needs to be done, done when they don't feel like it. You know what Hamza says as well? Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. <laughs> when he does all that, yeah. It's true though, it's true. You will never regret it though. You'll never regret it. Any time when you want to do something and you don't feel like doing it, just start. Just try and start doing it. I'm actually going to turn the camera around because my arm's killing. I'm going to have to edit that and flip the camera around low key. Okay. Ah, my arm is hurting. Let's go into here. I had to pause it real quick and give my arm a second rest because it's killing. I'm holding this. It's actually hard to hold it up like this. It's like a exercise does here but yeah um i've implemented this in my life in so many different ways and it's not just the youtube stuff and it's not just the fitness stuff even because i'm trying to bulk up a little bit i'm trying to eat a bit more food when i don't feel like eating the meal i'm like okay nathan force yourself to eat this meal see if you regret it after i eat the meal i don't regret it actually actually sometimes sometimes i eat and i feel a little bit bloated so maybe i do regret it a little bit but overall it's all right I feel, I feel accomplished, I feel better. I don't even know what I'm saying now. Like, we're just talking and walking. We're in nature. We're looking after ourselves. I'm feeling blessed, I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling accomplished, I'm feeling fulfilled. Life is good, life is great. You ever just going for a walk and you just feel so like, calm, you feel like, you know what? I just wanna be here forever, I don't wanna leave here. <laughs> I just want to keep being here. I just want to chill in nature. One other tip that I'll give you guys is you can use this whenever you're facing controversy when it comes to other people. So say if you're in a situation where maybe a family member or a friend or someone, random person, you know, they're a little bit rude to you. They're a little bit confrontational to you. You can take a second and you can think right now, if I don't react in this situation, if I stay calm, if I stay composed, if I'm proactive instead of reactive and I don't let them get the one up on me, I don't explode, will I regret it? 
will I be happy that I didn't feed into this, this anger and this, you know, these negative emotions. You won't regret it. So I just think this concept is, ah, uh, it's just, it's the best thing for me. It's literally, I think it's the, 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 the number one thing over the past few months, over the past year or whatever, that I've been able to, you know, take and actually implement into my life. Because it makes you take a second to think about everything and actually think, will I regret it? Will I regret going to the gym today? Will I regret eating my three meals and whatever other food I need to eat in a day to hit my calories and my protein? Will I regret eating this clean food instead of this processed GMO crap? Will I regret not letting someone get the one up on me in an, in an argument and just letting them have their way and not, not, not being angry, not feeding into the anger? Will I regret going on this walk right now? Will I regret not feeding into my negative emotions? I won't regret any of it. And as long as you always have that in your mind, life's gonna be good, man. That's it.